Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBench video series. Um, this is Tim, and today we want to go over a quick troubleshooting tip if you're using the Tetrix Prime remote control receiver and uh, wireless receiver and remote control. Uh, sometimes when you're using these, if you happen to lose a receiver, you need to get it replaced, or if you have multiple sets that you're using and you get the receiver mixed up from the remote control, you might need to repair those. And I'm going to go over that process real quick this morning so you kind of have an idea. It's not hard, um, but you are going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a battery, uh, charged, of course. You'll need the receiver, you'll need a remote control, and you'll need something small to press a small button. Uh, I've got just uh, one of the Allen uh, hex keys, um, but uh, anything small will work toothpick, um, anything that you can use to poke a small button. So we're going to start by plugging the receiver into the battery. And um, you will know that you have it plugged in the correctly if you get that slow flashing, flashing red light. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in wrong so you'll see. If I put that um, battery in the wrong way, I'm not going to hurt anything, but I'm not going to get any red light. Uh, so we want to make sure that first off that we've got the battery plugged in in the correct manner and we get the flashing red light. And if you look on the opposite side of that uh, red light in the uh, lower corner, there is a very small black button. And you want to take your whatever it would be, your small tool, and you want to press that small button. And what should happen if you notice that red light is now blinking at a much faster rate. Uh, so when you do that, you're going to go over to um, your remote control gamepad, which was off, by the way. You're going to turn that on. You'll see the little green light, and there's a little button at the bottom that says Connect. And if you'll press and hold that Connect button, you should see that um, red light on the receiver go solid. And that shows that you have the two devices paired. So that's all it really requires. And once you've done that and you've paired the two devices, it will remember that so that if I turn the gamepad off, I unplug this. And then uh, the next time I go in and I plug it back in, I get my slow blinking red light. I should be able to just turn on my gamepad and it turns back solid. So I've got the two paired. So that's a quick troubleshooting tip if you're using, again, the Tetrix Prime remote control gamepad and wireless receiver, and you need to repair the devices. So hope you enjoyed that and find it useful. Um, build some good robots and have a great day.